In this video, I am going to fix the error invalid object name. It says invalid object name system user. Therefore, in order to fix this error, you have to look for system user in your code. To do that, first you have to break the project and stop debugging. And then you have to check the system user in your code. To do that, I go to top of the code. And from top of the code to the bottom, I am going to check whether where I have used the word system user. Here in my coding, in SQL command, I have used insert into system user. Now I have to check whether do I really have system user database table in my database. I have database 1 here and inside that I have created student database table. That is the only table I have created. There is no system user database table. Therefore this is incorrect. That was the error we had earlier. To fix this I have to change this system user into student. Now the error is fixed. But still we need to check whether are there any changes to be done. Therefore I have to check in my coding. Once again it said select all from system user. Now you know that there is no system user table in my coding. What I only have is student table. Therefore I have to change this into student. Again, check for more changes, update system user that is also incorrect. I am going to change this into student, look for more, delete from system user it is also incorrect because as I said earlier the only table I have is student, therefore I have to change this into student, look for more. Again we have system user here, I have to change that into student. And that is the end of my coding. I made several changes. If I check from the beginning, insert into student, it is correct. Select all from student, it is also correct. Update student, it is correct. Delete from student, it is correct. Select all from student, it is also correct. Therefore, the error should be gone. Let's check it out. To do that, you have to start the project. I use admin as username and 123 as password. It says login success. Then I go to student section. Then I try to add new student. Now click on add button. The message says saved successfully. The error is gone. Now I click on refresh button to check whether if it is really added to database. The record is added. I hope this video may help you to fix your errors. If you have more things to ask, you can write them in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video and be sure to subscribe and like the video.